Uh, here is Rakeda uh, explaining how YouTubers are the worst. This is a one day old clip. Every day Rakeda is putting out fresh content um, about how YouTube, how everyone has wronged him in the world. And let's see. I think this is the right clip. If not, I'll just play it because I have that on backup. I love Nina. She's awesome. She's wonderful. You guys should. Poor Nina. Gonna get gonna get loved two times in the back of the head. Excuse me. You guys should check her out. Nina Infinity. Check out her shows. She has both uh, like good news stuff, like happy shit, and she also has very serious uh, cultural commentary and critique. Uh, also, she's kind of cute, and she's super nice. And to anyone who wants to take that the wrong way, Nina is a very good friend of mine. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate that people will take me saying, oh, like she's kind of cute or she's super nice. And they'll be like, Bruh! guys, you know, that's a great me. person. I like her a lot. We get along really well. We talk to her all the time. She want, they're very. When, whenever I hear Rakeda say some dumbass shit, I revert to a uh, Islamic extremist. And I go, Bruh! and you just have a total, like a total regression in personality you youtubers out there that i will still talk to i know people are like no one associates with rakeda guys i stopped associating with so many people you know why because they're dishonest you know who's never ever dishonest me i'll just tell you i don't i don't fucking care oh shit You're just me i just but a lot of people, especially I just realized that my um my video on on Zitter is titled Live with Carolyn Farrow instead of what it should be. And it's been over an hour, so I can't fix it. <laughs> Whoops. I need to change that on uh my restreaming service. LawTube community, I've talked about this a couple times. They're not great. Nina is a very steadfast and great person who's always nice. She will always tell me what she disagrees with and agrees with. She'll always check in on me, see if I'm doing okay, and I'll check in on her to see if she's doing okay because we're friends. That's it. If you want to make that weird or gross, you can go do whatever the fuck you want to do. It's the internet. If you do that, uh, may I suggest killing yourself humbly. I'm tired of stop. I stopped telling people to kill themselves a long time ago. I'm retracting that policy. If you want to make something that's innocent and uh, nice into something that's gross, kill yourself. I'm fucking done with you people. But uh, if you're good people out there who like good, honest people with integrity, you know, Infinity is awesome. Well, he has always been a good now. friend of mine, and I will always stand by her in that way. That's she just like a print, though. It's just like a regular, it's like a glass that's made in the trillions, and they put like a logo over it. Here's Nina. If I, if I made a whiskey glass, I'd want it to be something really special. I'm like so fucking tired of the internet making anything else I would, uh, out of whatever is said. If I made a Kiwi Farms whiskey glass, I would um, have it handcrafted in the shape of Rakeda's head. And uh, it would be just be like a glass Rakeda skull. And you would be drinking out of that. You'd be taking, it would be like a, a double, because the nose is so big. You'd have to be a double shot whiskey glass. And you just slam that bad boy back. It would be special. You guys would really appreciate it. <laughs> um, they have great at merch. I'm a, I'm a, in another life, I'm an expert merchandiser. <laughs> I know how to make special stuff that people really like. Uh, this is, uh, that was not, actually, uh, I mean, that clip is funny, but this is the, the clip that I was thinking about that I wanted to share with everybody. I posted it on Zitter, so if my my website's not cooperative, I will uh, just play it on Zillow. Or not Zillow, Zitter. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Look, some drug addicts are really shitty, shitty people. But you got to realize, like, people who are drug addicts, they're addicted to a substance and they can't, they can't do anything other than acquire that substance. They, they don't know how to function without it. So uh, take a double, double. Realize, like, people who are drug addicts, they're addicted to a substance and they can't, they can't do anything 
other than acquire that substance. They they don't know how to function without it. There's something so weird. Like the bottle licking thing is so viscerally disgusting that when I see it, I like flinch. I cringe every time. And it's not I'm not saying that just to be like you know, an asshole and try to like really hype it up. No, really it's super gross to me. The like is it's so cringe, bro. I, I, it, it makes my, it, I don't know. I have like a physiological reaction. It makes my, makes me like recoil a little bit. I can feel the anxiety on the back of my neck. It's kind of like in, um, alien where the, pre, you know, the alien opens its mouth and then the second little mouth comes out and it's like scary. It, it has like a, like a fight or flight reaction in me. Cause I, it's just like, I don't know. I just like I don't want to be licked. He's like sticking out his tongue and curling it, and it's like oh god, he's just like trying to lick my face or something. It's so close. Like my, my monitor is so close to my face that like it's sort of like oh he's reaching out to lick me, and it scares me. It scares me, Chad. It scares me. It's it's uh perverse. It's appalling to me. My good senses. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.